today we're going to be making animal head sculptures out of model magic. Before we start, you want to make sure that you have your design out, your template, with your picture. And then you want to make sure you have your mat board, that's that hard piece of cardboard that I cut to the same size as your template. Before you start, you want to make sure that you have your name on the back and your class. You're each going to get two pieces of model magic. Okay? Model magic is really fun to play with because it's so light and fluffy. With the first piece, we're not really going to play with it that much. What I want you to do is I want you to roll it into a ball, move your two hands in little circles, you roll it into a ball, and it's okay if it gets a little dirty because we're going to paint these. Once it's rolled into a little ball, you're going to squish it with your hand, okay? Now some of our animal heads are circular like this, but you can see mine is a little bit of a triangle, so I'm just going to pinch. to make it the same shape as the head that I designed. If you designed a circular head, you can leave it that way. Now with my second piece of model magic, I am going to start to make the features. So I'm gonna take a little piece and I'm gonna squish it into a triangle shape for my ear. I'm gonna smooth the ear on the back. So I'm gonna make two little ears, two little puppy ears. And I'm gonna make the eyes. So right now I'm just building the features of my animal. And I'm gonna make the nose, so a little triangle. And I'm gonna make the little tongue. When everything is all put together, you want to start to add the details. And you can just use a pencil for that. So for the eyes, I'm going to use the end of my pencil to create the pupils. I might put a couple nostrils in the nose. I might press down those cheeks. And I might scratch the model magic to make it look a little bit furrier. And again, you don't need to worry about the pencil making marks because we're going to paint the whole thing black and do a little bit of an antiquing technique. When you're all finished sculpting your design of your animal, you're going to put it on the back counter and you're going to pull out either your totem pole or your African mask coloring page and you're going to color neatly and completely until the end of class. 